Hello guys, welcome back to TSBEC TV and first of all we hope you've had a very Merry Christmas and have received lots of new toys for your Land Rovers. Um, second of all, we're going to be presenting something rather exciting today, or at least something that you guys have been begging for for so, so long. Nissa? My car haven't skipped leg day in a while, uh, so that well, has skipped leg day. But it had, but now it's No, no, stopped. it's been doing leg day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We stopped skipping it, so now we got a 35 inch wheels on all four, on both axles, so uh, we're gonna go out and have a bit of fun in this not snowy but muddy terrain we got here in Denmark this year. Uh, so we're gonna go off and see uh, if we can get stuck somewhere. Last time you saw him, he still had the winch on, the bumper from uh, Masai. I uh, haven't got any skid plate yet for the steering things, but those are work in progress. I'm gonna get a new one. Uh, for this Christmas, I got brand new headlights. I'm also come on those. Uh, and the new wheels, I picked those up before Christmas. Uh, and I stopped working, or was done working. Uh, these are 35 inch Cooper Discovery STT Pro. And then I had the choice between getting a uh, 8 inch wide or 10 inch wide D mud wheel for it. And I went with the 10 inch because they're just a bit bigger and a bit better and better and everything. Otherwise, than that, uh, loads, loads of you guys asked about how I wired up my winch. And I didn't reply to any of those because I did a terrible job of wiring it in the start. But now I went all out and got this little lock box from uh, Mud Stuff. And in here we have a uh, NATO plug thing where I can take out power from beneath my seat where the battery is because my seats are kind of stuck in place. So I can then draw power from here. One plug a cable in and I've got two uh, uh, alligator clips I can put on. And then we've got the main switch here, which is both for this one and also for the winch. I'm going to plug that one on and the winch is active and that one off and it's now not active. So that's a pretty cool little neat thing I've installed over the, the holidays here. So that's how I have wired it up. Uh, I just ran two wires from under the seat and up here onto the uh, socket itself, uh, the plug, and then onto the power switch, and then one down to the winch as well. Uh, and the ground, I just took the ground on one of the engine mounts because there was already one. Uh, so that's how I wired it up. I was actually amazed at how easily my car got up. I thought that the um, difference in tyre size between mine and Nissa's would um, mean that I wouldn't, but I obviously just chose the right path and didn't have too much slip, but I've also never heard my TD5 scream, or I should rather say growl like that. That was pretty mental. Uh, Daniel, if you're watching, I'm sure you're proud. But anyway, let's move on to the next location. I got my GPS made, I'm in any waiting for me. I'm finna take it to the top, man. Once I get them in, I promise no dropping. Uh, they ain't trying to go down. We've just come all the way down this path behind me, or this track in the woods. Um, I'm driven through some pretty treacherous stuff. I'm surprised how easily I'm keeping up with Nissa's bigger tyres. Um, but having said that, Owing completely to the fact that Nissa has a two inch lift kit and chunkier tires, and I don't, I'm now stuck because the, the ruts are simply too deep. 
um, and the car is just sort of wedged. Um, and there's nothing I seem to be able to do. But there is a Nissa coming to rescue me right now. So much more confidence in these tough rock mud flaps than I do the standard ones, that's for sure. Yeah, flexing, no problem. Next objective is that water hole down there, which then leads into a hill which goes all the way back up to where we were. It should be interesting. When I said we should do a video testing your tyres, I didn't quite expect to get into that much of a mess. Well, <laughs> but fun. that's not to say it wasn't fun, it was absolutely awesome. And I think the first time I've actually been off-roading with that car since I had the remap done. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was a whole lot of fun and it's got me like super stoked for doing more <laughs> off-roading videos. So I hope we can do a yeah. lot more and uh, well, I think it d indicated more the benefits of having a two-inch lift kit rather yeah, than <laughs> probably. <laughs> because I was just diff digging, as we suddenly called it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, that was something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I just want to say a little shout out to Tough Rock because when we did the video installing our Tough Rock mud flaps, we didn't actually get a chance to show off how flexible they are, you know, out in the wild. Um, and I think today they kind of proved themselves because with if I had the uh, normal Land Rover mud flaps on like I would have done previously I would have been quite paranoid about them snapping but with these ones I wasn't worried at all and both of us saw them flex yeah. quite a lot in those ruts so shout out to Tough Rock and their awesome awesome products with their ultra flexible mud flaps anyway thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let us know what you want to see more of in 2018 we'll see you in the next video